This video is about uncertainties in measurements. In labs, such as physics or chemistry labs, many numbers are approximate. In other words, they have uncertainties. So when these numbers are combined by addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, then the results also have uncertainty. And the uncertainty reflects the range of possible calculated values based on the range of possible data values. And it's the difference between the nominal value and the maximum or minimum value. So for instance, say we have a number like this, x plus x 2 plus or minus 1. So that means it can be as small as 1, which is 2 minus 1, or it can be as big as 3, which is 2 plus 1. Suppose we have another number, 32 plus or minus 0.2. That means it can be as small as 31.8, which is 32 minus 0.2, and it can be as big as 32.2, which is 32 plus 0.2. So to show it graphically, here we go. Suppose we have this quantity x, and x goes from this left end of this bar over to this point in the middle. So now, the minimum value x can have is from the middle over to here. So, so the minimum value x can have is this here. The maximum value x can have is the whole thing. So the uncertainty here is the, diff the distance between here and here, and it's also the distance between here and here. So in other words, the uncertainty is the distance between the nominal value and the minimum value, and it's also the distance between the nominal value and the maximum value. So when you express uncertainties, since uncertainties are an indication of how imprecise a quantity is, then they're usually only expressed to one decimal place because it doesn't really make sense to have a um, very precise measurement of the uncertainty of the un imprecision in a value. So, what is the purpose of uncertainties? Two measurements or calculations of the same quantity will rarely give exactly the same value. So the purpose of uncertainties is ultimately to allow two numbers to be compared. For instance, suppose Alice measures a value for the acceleration due to gravity and gets a value of 10.1 plus or minus 0.3 meters per second squared. And Bob gets a value for the same thing for the acceleration due to gravity of 9.6 plus or minus 0.4 meters per second squared. So the question we want to answer is, are those two values different? So if we look at it, the uncertainty means that Alice's value has a minimum value of 10.1 minus 0.3, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, and Bob's value has a maximum of 9.6 plus 0.4, which is 10 meters per second squared. So that means that both Alice's and Bob's value include the range of values from 9.8 to 10 meters per second squared. So that means they agree within their experimental uncertainties. Whenever two quantities with uncertainties have a range or even a single value in common, we say that they agree within their experimental uncertainties. That means the difference between them can be ex entirely explained by the measurement uncertainties. So, uncertainty principles. In summary, all measurements have uncertainties. Because of this, all calculated results have uncertainties. Uncertainties allow us to compare different quantities by seeing if they agree within their uncertainties. When quantities agree within their uncertainties, that means that the difference can be entirely explained by the measurement uncertainties. When quantities don't agree within their uncertainties, that means the difference can't be explained by the measurement uncertainties alone. And in that case, we calculate the percent difference between the two values.